Oh, strike two. We're one strike away, right. Samuel. One strike away from New Zealand taking their first win. Trisnardi's Betty 330 for the tournament, so no slouch at bat. <laughs> Just getting this timing right. Get ready for an erupturous roar from the New Zealand team. He's put oh, down to no. play straight past first base. The grounder Messiah is looking to throw first, but it's not there. That gets one run, run and Superton scores. That brings them to 11 13. Still bases loaded, Roy. My goodness. Samuel, we have the tying. We have the tying run on second base. The tying run on second base. The go-ahead run on first base. This is coming down to the wire, Roy. I am up out of my seat. This is fantastic baseball, mate. Turn off the Major League Baseball and tune in to this Asia Pacific and Middle East qualify again. This is coming down to the wire. How fantastic is this, Roy? Actually, Samuel, to be perfectly honest, I would have preferred to be slightly more boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really struggling with this. I found my new social media guy, man. Yeah. Animation was beautiful. Yeah. 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 Hugo, and Hugo's actually done a decent job here, but he I think has. I think he's gone too many times through the order. He is there's nothing deceptive about his pitching, and they're starting to make contact. They've seen it. <laughs> How the news here, Roy? Roy from uh, Indonesia. Just the the great to see you again. Yep. So New Zealand sticking with Hugo, even with the tying run on second and the go ahead run on first. Like we said, this Indonesian team will just continue There's fighting. There's a strike from Hugo. That's what we need. A little bit of a com uh, confident border from for, from him. There's a pusher up there. Remember, they were down to their last strike, Samuel. So anything can happen. Delivered inside at 57 miles. My word. Indonesia, number 27, just being patient on it. This is why we love the game of baseball, Samuel. Love it. That's going to be a two, two ball, one strike. Two balls, one strike on batter 27. This is a Puga looking for an opportunity to get to keep Indonesia in this game. Oh, and that's hit him. <laughs> My word. That's hit. That is hit him. Oh, that is a hit by pitch. Run scores to bring it to 13-12. Uh, what is going on here? Here we go. The pitching change uh, for New Zealand. Who Indonesia just bringing that mongrel into the game. Fighting for it. They want this, Roy. They want this. They are fighting for it. And forcing New Zealand into changes that they might not want to make, Roy. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't want to make it. They were hoping that Hugo was going to get us out of this. Uh, I think we're getting an update that Hugo was coming near the end of his pitch count. And it looks like they're going with Corbin McKinley. Young yeah. battler from the North Shore Club here in Auckland. We are up at the top of the order for Indonesia. We've seen the first three batters, really strong performance from them in this tournament and in this game. This could be a good call from New Zealand who seeks the final out. Bring in a new pitcher. This uh, pitcher, uh, number nine, Takoa Raisa, he has seen Hugo three times now. So let's show him something new. And you're right, they've gone with uh, uh, Corbin McKinlay. Let's see what he can deliver as he continues his warm up. Warming up at it at the low 60s. I know he's capable of, of mid to high 60s, so just just going through his uh, routine at the moment. I wonder if Corbin will be thanking his coach here. Coming on, one run game, bases loaded. Bases loaded, one run game, but only needing one out, Roy. That, that's, uh, that, that, you know, that can't be understated. 
just needing the one run to to secure that. So of course a tying run at third base. The goal ahead run on second. You've been saying that we only need run out for quite some time now, Samuel. One run out? Well, it takes out that sacrifice play. The, the batter has to put this ball in play. Now, of course, it's not over if they do go ahead. New Zealand still has a right of reply for this game as well. And so not over at the end of the top of the seventh. Hugo Harvey finishing on three innings pitch of 3.2 innings pitch, two strikeouts, and 11.45 ERA. Probably doesn't do him justice though, Roy. I think I, you know, I agree with you. He did a great job. Just a bit unlucky in some of those uh, fielding errors there, Roy. Yeah, absolutely. Some of them won't be scored as errors, but uh, we we would expect this New Zealand team to have made some plays for him. Absolutely. Corbin here delivering a strike at 65. There we go. Told you I knew he could do uh, mid to high 60s and he delivers it first up. A 65 strike. Better's ready for it now. He's seen it. He liked it. Cut them. Yeah. Oh my word. Oh, hit by pitch. Hit by pitch to bring the tying run to the plate. We have a tie ball game here. My goodness, guys. Message your families, tune into this game. Women in Indonesia coming back from 13 7, scoring six runs this inning to tie it up and still in a basis loaded situation. What is going on here with Team New Zealand? Well, I appreciate those funny things, Samuel. And like I said, Corbin might not have thanked his coach. Coming on, bases loaded. McKinley just delivering the ball. I know he was upset with that. That uh, I know he was upset with that. That earlier pitch, that hit by pitch. The all strike on the batter there. Quite inside, 57 miles. But uh, umpire Paul liked it. Called it a strike. He was throwing his off speed there, which is good to see. Oh, 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 comes inside. You don't want to live there. There's already Coach been two hit by not pitches. happy about that. Saying, hey, we're not looking for that. He wants his players swinging. He wants his players batting. I think uh, you might actually find he was saying, just wear that for the team. Trisundi. Batty 300 for the tournament. Puts it into play. Short stop there. Takes the force play on second. All right, it is equal game. New Zealand has to tie. New Zealand, New Zealand has to score in this innings, Roy. <laughs> Let's break this down. I can't six, believe what we're watching. Six runs from uh, Korea. There, uh, sorry, from uh, Indonesia. Uh, just to bring them right back in this game. You caught it before. What happens at three and a half hour mark? That inning lasting half an hour. It is two o'clock. We've just hit the four hour mark of this game. And uh, Indonesia bringing in six runs, Roy. This is unbelievable. So this New Zealand team have been involved in two out of three games have gone over four hours. Both of them with a massive amount of runs against them in the final innings. I don't know how to explain this. I don't think the coaching staff know how to explain this. But with that said, they have an opportunity to score here and walk this game off. They absolutely do, and we always love a walk-off uh, walk uh, play be a ruptious roar from the New Zealand, the New Zealand embankment at the moment just jam packed with supporters up there, so if you're not down at the park, get down here, we're looking at number 9, so another pitching change, number 9, this is the uh, uh, Tako Raizo who has had an amazing bet today, betting uh, 375 for the tournament, let's see what he can do on the mound, I feel 
Rui, Indonesia probably wanting to put up one of their better pitches to, to try and control this game. Um, but ensuring that he's ready to go at the semis tomorrow. Absolutely, I, I think that uh, I think they'd almost given this game away, and now they go, hang on, we've got an opportunity here, and and this young man is up throwing flames, 72 with his fastball. He's got a nice off-speed pitch there, coming in 59. at 59 miles an hour. That is a big 12 mile an hour split there between the two, and. As has been proven time and time again, he gets up on the mound in a game situation. I wouldn't be surprised. So we are just getting. Uh, uh, some questions about the time limit. Of course, no time limit in these games. Uh, just mercy rules. And uh, we ask, we're being asked if this is records for some little league games. And I wouldn't be surprised. I don't have the stats on top of me, on me, but I wouldn't be surprised if these are some of the longer games that little league has seen. We may say to you some of the people. Well, I do know that here in New Zealand we had uh, the umpires, a bit of friendly competition. So. Umpire KG had the record, 4 hours and 7 minutes, and it looks like Paul Vadamovich may be taking the record off him today. Four and I did not think I would minutes. see that. We're at uh, 4 hours and 4 minutes right here, right now. Tomorrow King coming up to lead us off in what the bottom of the 7. Batting 3.30 for the tournament. Uh, only the one hit today in 3 visits to the plate. He'll be hoping for another one here. Oh, that's in the inside there. It's 70 miles straight off the straight off the mound. 70 mile ball on the inside. Tomaroa King showing showing patience. Leaves that one as well. Catcher telling his pitcher, hey, just slow it down, get it in the zone. Really going to be some nerves in both of these teams now. We didn't expect to see nerves in this game as we moved into this last innings, but Indonesia, boy, they are battlers. Oh, an absolute curl of a strike. 68 miles an hour. Goes straight past Tongaroa. Tongaroa does try and square up on it, but just blows past it. Oh, another inside pitch called strike on Tongaroa King. Watching that. 70 miles an hour. This pitcher bringing it to the team. Needs the three outs to get Indonesia back in the box. And that's up high. He'll leave it. 71 miles. Two balls, two strikes on Tongaroa King. I think the nerves are getting to Roy. He's had to uh, step out of the box. Just needs a bit of time to, to regather himself. Big swing from Tongaroa King, but overswings it and sits down swinging. They're bringing up Corbin McKinley, the last pitcher, uh, the, or the current pitcher for New Zealand on the mound here. McKinley, of course, hitting 222 for the tournament, 220 for the tournament. Two at bats today, two strikeouts. He'll be hoping that his bat works today. Well, Samuel, I kind of feel that New Zealand really has to finish this game off here. The momentum, if they cannot score, the momentum will be right with this Indonesian team, and they would back themselves if this game goes into an eighth innings. Absolutely, there's a hit. Straight through, shortstop's got it. Over the first. And out! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! With a 6 3 play. Laid it out, stopped the ball, set back to his feet, and a throw in first in time to get Corbin McKinley out. My goodness, Roy! Great baseball there, Samuel. 
It doesn't matter which team you support, you always have to support good baseball. That was fantastic from the Indonesian shortstop. Two quick outs for the Indonesian team here. New Zealand uh, will be, uh, will be like, having a little bit of, a little, a little nervous here. We've just, got Ben back in the box. But you're just living in that, around that 70 mile an hour, that fastball, 70 on the dot. Yeah. Just got to work his zone, uh, he's getting a couple of high balls, couple of low balls, uh, but when it's in the zone, it's in the zone, Roy. Beautiful pitch on 70 strike. Ben, ben Giovanni just asking where that was. It's a 1-1 one, one count. Ben is a hitter. Yeah, calling him. All in the strike, Ben's a little bit unsure. Not showing any emotion on this though. Late strike call. So two, one, count on Ben. This could be the third out for Indonesia. That's what they'll be looking for. Wow! Three strikes, one, two, three. See you later, New Zealand. What is this from this Indonesian team? A late rally. This is crazy. That momentum well and truly sitting with Indonesia right now. We go into a tiebreaker. We're going to have to go into the eighth inning. What are the rules around a tiebreaker inning, Roy? <laughs> Runner on second. So uh, I'm not sure whether it's the first extra innings that second. we go straight into it. I believe it is the second. Uh, and I believe the little league rule is just runner on second. Uh, some leagues play runner first and second. I just don't believe that is the case with um, no, you are these right. senior league rules. So it's the second that we will play this as uh, non tiebreaker rules. But if we move into the ninth, we will have a runner on second for the ninth inning and only on second. We don't load uh, second and first, only second. Uh, from the 11th inning, if it, we somehow get there, so two innings with that tiebreaker rule, at the 11th inning, then we load bases at second and first. So what you're telling me here, Samuel, is you ask me what the rules are because you knew all of the rules. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Samuel, and I'm, Just, all, I'm absolutely loving your excitement at this baseball game. Oh, this is just quality baseball, international baseball, Good in our backyard, Roy. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, that does that does remind me of the catch cry of uh, my LA Chargers. Who's got it better than us? No one, Samuel. No one. Nobody. Best seat in the house right here, watching these two teams duel it down to the last. I bet no one here had money on. Not that we promote betting. But uh, we, none of us could pick that we would be going to a tiebreaker eight inning. Oh. Controversy here. As the umpire was the umpire was saying umpire was saying that the batter had taken too long to enter the box and he'd actually called two strikes on him. Indonesian coach all over that saying you can't do that to my catcher I think he's sticking with the call I think he's sticking, sticking with a two strike call two strikes call on and this is let's oh, it's a tough call for a catcher to get out of their, their kit I'll be honest Samuel I think it's a terrible call like I like to stick with these umpires, but that... That is a pop-up. Shortstop under it. Second base under it. He's dropped it. Getting first on and... Maybe a bit of karma coming back to the Indonesia team uh, after what you've called a terrible call there, Roy. Absolutely. I think that's the baseball gods making sure they help out the catcher there. But we are seeing the effects of this one. We are. That ball was moving around. That was a shortstop ball. And then all of a sudden it moved to the second baseman. They were not expecting that. Sompton at the uh, at the plate now. Four at-bats with one hit today. 
two RBIs accredited to it. That's a strike every day of the week. I'll be honest, Samuel, after, after four hours of baseball, I would probably be using a special pinch runner for my catcher here. I would get somebody out there that can steal second base. Those catcher's legs will be a bit tired. Absolutely, but it looks like they're going to leave. Oh, he'll go anyway. And he's going on the steal. But, oh, and he's just missed that throw down again. We saw this in the last innings. Shane still going for it and just not able to get that pick off on the steal. Whew. Calling time. Wants his helmet. I think the throw beat the player, and the throw was just off the mark. Just off the mark. Shortstop yes. had an opportunity. It would have been a tough play, but he had an opportunity to pick that, put the tag on. This will give Indonesia confidence. A runner, the go-ahead runner, in scoring position now. Up high. And let's not forget, that, that runner started with a two-strike count on him. Yes, that's true. I see uh, Master Coach TP saying, why would you not lay down a bunt here? And he's been hit. Oh my gosh. Hit by pitch. Is that three or four hit by pitch that we've seen in the last? This is two by Corbin. Two by Corbin. We saw at least one by Hugo Harvey. Now what his saving grace here actually is that it was one in the inning before and one now. Of course three hit by pitchers in the same inning is a forced retirement of the pitcher. So he's, even though know, he's hit two, thankfully it's split across two innings. I think we're seeing the New Zealand team a little bit rattled here. We see Shane Scanlon going out and making a first and third call when there's only runners on first and second. So runner on first and second. Pitch low. McKinley just uh, coming off the pace here, possibly just trying to make sure he's not going to hit another pitch up. Pause on a strike there. There's a strike there. Number 10, Dharma. Jared Dharma coming in. He's had a great game today. He'll be looking to put this ball into play. That drop ball, show bunt, drop ball. Got the run into third. And that was heads up base running. I mean, that ball didn't get far away from Chain, but he read it immediately and took third base. Now we've got a first and third situation. I have to say, Roy, this New Zealand team, of course, still in it. But are we seeing a bit of the boys checking out here? We're seeing boys not getting set, putting their hands on their hips, maybe just a little bit struggling to focus here. I think there's a bit of disbelief in the team, Samuel. Like, how can this be happening to them again? Unbelievable. Let's see if they can bring that fight. There we go, that is a hit. That's off the third baseman. That's going to bring the go-ahead run in for Indonesia. Runner on third, runner on first as well. Just a really tough grounder out to uh, Nico Waru, uh, which ended up jumping out of his glove and over his head. And uh, the uh, bets. My goodness, so the go-ahead run, Indonesia taking the lead now at 14-13, Roy. Yeah, unbelievable. Right. Just all of the little breaks are, are going their way, and that's what momentum does, and, and that's, you get rewarded when you're, when you're scrapping like they've been scrapping, and as you say. So they are pinch running Dharma. It's an interesting one, because they didn't pinch run their catcher. But they're pinch running Dharma, wanting to put speed on uh, the base. And of course, allow two pinch runners per game. So, this is the first time they've used that to put a bit of speed on first. Smart call from the coach, I think, there, Roy. To be honest, the catcher uh, showed how wrong I was when I said his legs might be a bit tired. He was, he was electric on the bases. He stole second. He was aware getting to third. 
It's up high. Shane looking to throw to. Didn't. Thankfully, with that runner on uh, third there. Now we have runners on second and third, and a base hit could put this game out of reach for the New Zealand team. So we have, we have uh, Biggest Okoro in the box right now. Infield drawn in. New Zealand looking to, to hold these runners. They'll be looking for the play at home. It will be a tag play if it's a play at home. Great strike there. Coming in, touching 60 miles. And I have to say that uh, the New Zealand Hill has gone quite a bit quiet again. Well, not surprising. Big hack. When you watch this happen, From Samuel, Indonesia. I think it's just stunned silence. 59 miles, yeah, they were right in this, they were cheering, they were jumping, and everyone taking a seat now. Just not quite, uh, probably chewing their fingers off. They could be enjoying a nice burger from the canteen, of course. And that's where I'll be heading after this game. This would be a shock for this New Zealand team. They would have gone into this believing that they were one of the favourites to take the title. Oh, just a bit of a conversation going on behind me here, but the Warriors are not what you should be thinking about right now. Samuel is that a strikeout. Great strikeout. Great pitch from uh, Corbin McKinley there. Big strikeout from Indonesia for our first out of the inning. Although Indonesia already taking the lead this inning, so they'll be they'll be feeling confident. They will be wanting insurance runs now, Roy. Absolutely. Base hit could potentially score two. And like I said, that could be enough to take this game out of reach for New Zealand. Well of a Kango coming in, number 77. Heading 250 for the tournament. Strike on 57 mile fastball. I'm going to be intrigued to see what Indonesia do with their pitcher. He looks like one of their aces. Yep, wanting to ensure that they'll be able to use him tomorrow. You know, credit to the umpires as well. We've talked about how long this game has gone for the teams. But, you know, the umpires are out there as well. Four hours and 20 minutes, Samuel. And, uh, you know, Paul has probably done over a hundred squats right now. So his thighs and calves are no doubt burning. 57 mile an hour there from Corbin as he looks to put New Zealand in a position where they can come out and compete in the bottom of this innings. Of course, Korea and Guam around the diamond. Pop foul Thinking there. They would be playing right now. Um, but of course, this game going late into the day. Four hours, 20 minutes. 20 past two local time. He's in daylight time. Oh, and, um, on the head, hit by pitch. That's going to load the bases. A bit of a look from the batter to the pitcher. Don't think he was too happy about that, but I would say totally unintentional there by Corbin. Just a ball that got away from him. On there. Always unintentional, but as a batter, you cop one off the helmet. Oh, I don't mind seeing a little bit of a steer down. Yeah. Now, big batter, Trisnati. Tris he has really brought it to the New Zealand teams, of course, hitting... Uh, Hitting a 4.29 for the tournament so far. Um, five at bats, three hits, and three RBIs credit to him today. So really taking it to the boys. This is perfect timing for him to be coming into this game, Roy, with bases loaded. Well, he's been swinging a hot bat, and if he keeps doing that, what's already looking like a, a slightly shocked dugout over there for this New Zealand team I think we'll go from being shocked to being dejected one more base hit and we're in some serious trouble oh there's a strike coming in low better thought it was a bit low left it Cena gets his new command from the from the catcher 
58 miles from Corbin there. Better thinks it's it's inside wanting to leave it trying to draw a walk but two strikes on him and we know as we've said he's had a hot bat he's been very successful today there he goes that's oh, it pokes this it is good right score field. at least one. Oh, no oh and a fumble from the right field and messiah that's two in and running around to third base he's watching that there we go oh this is hurting the new zealand team right here this is going to be 16 13 two insurance runs there from indonesia new zealand will be thinking what do we have to do still only one down on the inning as well roy really disappointing fielding there just letting the ball roll under his glove he really had to try to hold that to one run, but wasn't to be. And as a result, we still have infield drawn in. We've got runners first and third. This run will go in motion, no doubt about it. As McKinley steps off. He's trying to regain Infield drawn in. There's no one for Shane to throw it to, so of course he's going to go. They were just giving him second base. Now this is a new player here, Roy. I have not seen Matthew for uh, a name. Yes, Patrick Matthew Pantel entering the game. We're going to look here at that. There's a massive lead over at second base. He's dancing halfway down. There's no one around to hold him. And base hit would definitely score two more. Patrick Matthew Pentel here just taking the balls. That's two balls on him. What's going on here, Samuel? Has this New Zealand team given up? No. No. That's not a New Zealand culture. We don't give up. Uh, look, it's... I think they're rocked. I think it's fair to say that they are rocked. Big swing there from uh, the number 12 player there, Matthew. Uh, you know, sometimes they they fought back into this game. And uh, like you said, we're, we're not used to these long games, Roy. I'm just looking out there. I'm looking at the, the body language. I see a bunch of dejected players. Well, is it dejection or is it fatigue? Like I mentioned, Roy, I did notice this uh, earlier. Just guys just not getting set for that pitch they're not you know they got their hands on their hips they're not moving towards the ball what i would call a coach killing action oh that's a walk that is a walk to load the bases again oh oh, oh. why have we got a advance here i think i think they've called a balk they call a balk yes, yes carlo calling a balk Showing wow. that he is uh, double pumping his hand. Wow. Of course, the uh, coach out here to. So, so a ball. That must bring the player back. Yes, it does. It he's, does. he's back in the, the box. But in another insurance run. This is not what New Zealand needed, Roy. This is unbelievable. That will be frustrating for the team for the coach and you can see Corbin just head down at the moment I think you're right four hours and 25 minutes and they are looking like their heads just aren't in the game anymore and uh, the coach there saying Patrick you're not looking for a walk you swing at this if you get the opportunity from my limited Indonesian. Well, and that's four four anyway. Corbin, you know, I think really struggling on that mound. And it's hard, right? Even even for a fully developed player, we see this in the magic uh, in the in the major league. You know, when it's not working, it's easy to feel de dejected. So Absolutely. Fatigue. And these boys are, you know, they're, they're young. They're still trying to get a hold of, develop all their emotions, and and uh, they'll be feeling this, Roy. 
Well, it's not just the players, Samuel. The, the coaching staff over there looking like they're, they've got no ideas left. Yep. And they, they don't know how to approach the end of this game. I and think they're in shock as much as the players are. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, really, this hurts. We're back at the top of the order for Indonesia. Dakota Raiza, of course, like I said, 375 for the tournament. Bean uh, has really hurt New Zealand today, uh, both in the box and, of course, great pitching from him in the last couple of innings as well to keep Indonesia in this game. There's a strike from McKinley. That's what we need. Quite a bit of a slower delivery at 57, but in the zone. That's what we're needing. We are still on one out, so we do need a double play here or an easy out at first. Ooh, and he's hit that, but that is foul down the third baseline there. 57 miles again from uh, Corbin. Oh, interesting here. I, th I think we've seen a little bit of what's going on with the New Zealand team. Is the infield now playing back? They're giving up a run. They're that far down. They, they just want outs. They just want a chance to sit down. Oh, and they're straight back at the pitcher. Shortstop. Oh, no. He has pushed it forward and fumbled it and no play at one. Ah, that is hurting. Not doing the basics, not getting your glove down, not getting behind the ball. Looks like he may have caught that ball to the gut. He's uh, asking for a little bit of time out here. He's got his glove off. That scores another one for Indonesia, bringing us up to 17-13. Not looking good for the uh, right of reply for New Zealand here, Roy. Just reminded me there, Samuel, a bit update the scoreboard. I've had a lot of work to do the last couple of innings, thanks to Indonesia, just piling on the runs. They really brought it to the, uh, to the final inning. Indonesia, you know, also looking quite tired here, Roy. They're not chanting, they're not celebrating, they're not, you know, they're really just conserving energy here. Uh, in, in the dugout, I think they're feeling the uh, the time that it's taken to play this game as well. Well, they don't need their rally chant anymore, Samuel. The rally has well and truly done its job. <laughs> uh, second balk from Corbin McKinley. Second balk in this inning. What do you do as a coach? No movement from the dugout just yet. What do you do, Samuel? Uh, a discussion going on between the coaching staff there. You uh, probably head to 18:13, Roy. Sorry, go you on. probably just head back to the hotel, bury your head in your pillow, and start crying. To be honest. And here's a hit. Oh, here's a hit this is another hit by pitch. Two on the inning for Corbin. One more, and he has to be replaced. He is completely dejected now. He's done a fantastic job on the mound. It just hasn't been his day. Few uh, fielding mishaps not backing him up. We've seen that from the New Zealand team both yesterday and today, Roy. Yeah, it's rough, Samuel. This is, this is rough. Four and a half hours. Paul Corwin out there on the mound as the runner takes off. Beautiful strike from him. 59 miles, so a perfect strike. So still just one out. Runners on second and third. And what is now really a massive lead. Oh, and a big hit. On their big layout, but misses it. Oh, and no. a <laughs> from Tongaroa King, bringing in not one, but two runs, allowing the batter to get around to second. Another two runs on this. Uh, to bring the score to 21, 13, is it right? Oh, the number's so big, I'm struggling with it myself. 13, almost a 10 point lead here. Now, no matter the score, no matter what uh, Indonesia runs in here, New Zealand will get a right of reply. There is no mercy on this. But that is looking, this is looking tough. 
Well, that's the second time this innings that one of these New Zealand outfielders has just casually let the ball roll under their glove. Another pitching change coming. Alex Kovic coming up onto the mound. So, a sub substitution into the game. Alex Kovic. Had the, joy, had the joy of coaching him a few years ago in the majors. Unfortunately, we couldn't travel through COVID. Primarily a catcher, but has been working on his pitching. Wow, when you say working on his pitching, Samuel, he was actually the pitcher of the tournament pitcher for the tournament. Central City at the Senior recent Nationals. Senior League Nationals. And by virtue of doing that, he actually went into the draw and ended up being the winner of a trip for four to Los Angeles. A very difficult for us to commentate at the moment with his excited father just yapping away in the background. Go see the best team in baseball, the, the LA Angels, who I believe is sponsoring that trip. How's the travel? House Angels yeah. and City of Anaheim. Yeah. I think we're the three sponsors there. All right, so new pitcher Alex Kovic just looking for two outs to get New Zealand out of this pickle and get the New Zealand bats back into the attack. Absolutely massive effort from Indonesia to rally here. Not just rallying Roy, but actually putting up a massive score so far. Eight. Runs batted in this inning alone, Roy. Yeah, it's been a sensational effort from them. We've said it all day. They had a good day yesterday. They had themselves a nice barbecue. They went for a swim at the beach. They were in good spirits. Enjoying the best parts of Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, New Zealand. Beautiful city. If you've never come down to New Zealand, we invite you to a beautiful country, to a beautiful city it's next right. year for Asia Pacific and Middle East Qualifiers, Little League Juniors 2025. Oh. All right. Well, Sompaton at the plate, his second at bat of this inning. That's high and away. Just trying to find his zone. You must admit, Samuel, I'll be scrambling after this game. I didn't uh, anticipate needing uh, At this ba point battery point. power to get us through four and a half hours of baseball just and for the first game. Issued from Alex. Yes, at this point I'm going to be driving straight to the stadium for the Warriors. Come on, Alex, you do it. my wife's annoyment. Well, it wouldn't be a, uh, a day that ends with why if your wife wasn't annoyed with you, Samuel. Oh, that's a bit like that. And Dharma coming back into bat. Number 10, we've seen him. He's had a great game and a hit by pitch here uh, today. He'll be thanking his elbow guard there, taking the uh, square brunt of that to march the... Runners around loading the bases. Coach, uh, umpire Paul just having a look at us. Oh, no, Alex, saying, no, my no. goodness, when is this going to end? And I wish we could tell you, but this has just been a monumental effort by both teams today. Mammoth game right here. Of course, both teams back at it tomorrow in the semi-final. What does that do to these teams that are playing massive games today? I mean, surely it's early to bed tonight, Roy. Well, one of the things I can say at that age, you recover very quick. The bodies, will the bodies will recover. The interesting bit is will the heads recover because this okay. is a body blow that's been landed on the New Zealand team. Alex Kovic working at about 54 mile an hour off the mound. Quarter strike on that. 50, 53 there. 
53. The zone might be just expanding a little as some poor Paul is. Uh, Tommy will be rumbling here. Yeah, and uh, his squats are getting a little bit higher. Oh, uh, 21 putting in. Oh, almost a collision. I hope they were talking, but that is out. A beautiful catch by uh, that McKinley out at shortstop there. Uh, I think you'll find it Ben oh, Bonji oh, 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 He has been moved oh, around, oh. yes, and Harvey put into his uh, second base there, so a slight defensive change out there. Over four and a half hours in, and you've pulled a ripper there, Samuel, coming up with Bon Ben Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> ben Bon Giovanni, I apologise. Yeah, no need for an apology after, after this long. <laughs> yeah. Of course, uh, the Bon Giovanni... Uh, Local local heroes out here at uh, Lloyd Ousmore Park at the HP uh, at the HP Hawkeys Club, which is awesome. 77 back at the plate here. Walla Wenko batting, still batting 250 for that tournament, but been great quality at bats today. Second time up in this in this uh, inning. Watching a ball come past him. That well, we've one in the dirt from Alex. We've talked a little bit, Samuel, about the evolution of this tournament and how it's going to look in future years. One of the things that I'll be putting forward is can we please have a time limit on the round robin games? What, it, three, two, three, oh, three. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. And three balls on number 77. Yeah. There's a strike there. He did move to swing, but decided against it. Oh, my stats. Has a low battery, 20% warning. It is quite amazing that this Indonesian team has stayed so patient at the plate. Great plate discipline being shown by this Indonesian team. And takes the walks another big body at that. That brings up run 22 for Indonesia. We always hold hope for our Kiwis. We hold hope for Aotearoa New Zealand team. Uh, but this is going to be a very hard comeback, Roy. Yeah, well, Indonesia scored seven to come back in the seventh, I think it was. Now we only need nine in the eighth, Samuel. Yeah, so scoring uh, <laughs> six in the seventh, but scoring a nine, oh, six in the seventh, uh, nine runs in this inning alone. You've got to say it's it's hurting. Oh! Now. Viewers, you can't you can't see how we are in the box here, but I'm more often out of my seat at some of these fantastic plays, and Roy has more hands in his head, <laughs> head in his hands, just looking down. It's uh, it's tough. There's a wild pitch there from Kovic, Scanlon with the hustle and actually good enough hustle to hold the runners on three. Finish it off, Alex. Let's go, bro. We are sitting on two out, so just need one more. We're looking for Kovic to deliver that final out for New Zealand. Yeah, boys! New Zealand with the strike, Kovic. Great work. No speed there. That's okay. 79. <laughs> One strike, one ball. Oh, great piece, but foul. Down the third baseline there. Alex still sitting there, 54 mile an hour. Alex now in front with uh, two strikes, one go ball go. on the spatter. Go, my boy! As you said, despite his recent heroics at the uh, recent national championships, he's not normally a pitcher. Backup catcher in this team. Oh, and oh, that is just in. Yeah. Oh, and out at first yeah. to retire this side. 
So I'm not sure, Samuel, whether this sick feeling in my stomach is thanks to the performance of this New Zealand team or due to the fact that it's been about six hours since I had anything to eat. Nine runs scored in that innings and let's be honest, it's going to take a miracle for this New Zealand team to fight back from that. I think as much as anything, due to the fact that they will be dejected. Oh, Roy, sorry, I just had to step away there where you were having to uh, debrief there. A massive nine-run rally from Indonesia there. New Zealand absolutely capable of matching that or bettering it. I love your enthusiasm, Samuel, but... It is a hard ask. I... You know, I'm, I'm going to agree there, but we know they are capable of it. Now, it comes down to Indonesia. Do they stick with number nine uh, to go on the mound to try and get the easy three outs? Or do they change pitcher because they've got such a lead and it looks like they're going to be sticking with number nine? Well, they've seen crazy things happen in this game, so they'll just like to shut it down. Just shut it down, get over to the snack shack for a burger. One of the fantastic things about this game of baseball, though, is until that last out is taken, anything can happen. Too optimistic? Maybe? <laughs> Not at all. Anything is possible. That's why we love baseball. This pitcher is going to be on, and he is going to be throwing those 70s again. We enter the order, uh, the lower order, number eight batter, Nico Waru. He's had some quality at bats, a couple of a couple of sacrifice or a sacrifice fly earlier in the game. So actually has four base by walks today. Interesting you mentioned that Samuel. Like I don't know whether you've got all of the stats in front of you there, but I'd be fascinated to know how many walks were issued by the New Zealand team in this game. Oh, I don't have that stat. Probably it's called it's called addition Samuel if you just have a little bit of a look at the <laughs> number of walks for each pitcher and you add those up in fact I do believe the app even adds it up for you so I think I bought you enough time to scroll to the bottom of the page I'm at the bottom of the page it doesn't add it up for me but here yeah, 3 <laughs> 7 10 13 14 16 walks issued by the New Zealand pitchers today and that is just too much you can't win baseball that way but New Zealand is going to try here we are first pitch 71 miles as we said he would hitting those 70s for a go. beautiful strike hey, and uh, Nico Waru just watching it go past him on that first pitch here comes a second a little bit high yeah, that was definitely up, Samuel. Let's not uh, try to make it sound another closer than it was. Another 71. Always getting a little antsy. What's the game to be done? Oh, just a little bit of, a uh, little bit of disappointment, a little bit of anger, absolutely, a little bit of frustration. And it's it's fair, right? We put so much into these teams, and they've done a great job. Just haven't been able to pull it together. That was a very high pitch above uh, while he was dead. As I said earlier, Samuel, that sick feeling in my stomach could that's be the performance of the New Zealand team. That's a ball. Likely to be the lack of food. Inside. Yes, I'm starting to feel that uh, <laughs> emptiness in my stomach as well. I just had the first wife call, uh, viewers, so <laughs> you always know you've been out too long when you get the first wife call. There's a big hack from... Uh, Waru, but fouled outside on that right field as we've seen so much of today. Well, this New Zealand team will be certainly relieved that every side is going to proceed through to the semi-finals because it is looking at the moment as TK takes a walk. It's looking as though the odds are against them for picking up a win in the round robin. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the important thing here, Roy. What have they learned over the last three games um, that they're going to be able to take into that semi-final? Obviously, they could still go through. 
they can win the semi-final tomorrow, play in the final on Tuesday and go through with the win. What lessons have they learned in the last three games, this game included? Well, I think one of the lessons they've learned is that they don't like games that last more than four hours, Samuel. <laughs> That's fair. 69 mile fastball down there on Hugo Harvey. If I was to give them any advice, it would be finish your semi-final early. Ooh, big oh. hit by Hugo. That's in. That's straight down the first baseline. Oh, okay. here we go, bro. Big play here. Putting runners go, into second and first now. Great hit by Hugo. The parents on the New Zealand Hill come alive after that hit. But a little bit of life creeping back into the camp of New Zealand. Great to see. Great to see. Yeah, that'll feel good for Hugo after things kind of fell apart from him on the mound there. He'll... Uh, have that spark okay. back with that hit. Okay. And now we're back at the top of the okay. lineup. At the top of the lineup. That has been very strong performance from the top of the lineup of New Zealand. Time. Hit by pitch. That's that'll, gonna load the bases. That'll load them up. And I think the uh, coach is just gonna check this. Surely that was over the plate. Are you saying he moved into it? I believe the umpire will say he looked to get up and out of the way of it. And to be fair, with the way the Indonesian players were leaning into pitches earlier, I don't believe their coach has much that he can complain about. The other thing I do know, Samuel, is we're going to need to see Shane Scanlon at the plate again in this innings for New Zealand to have a chance. Absolutely, and but absolutely durable as we bring up Liam Hay, betting 410 for the uh, or 417, sorry for the tournament. This is his sixth at bat. Big hack from him. Couldn't catch up to the ball. Well, you see there, even though this pitcher has got way more velocity than we've seen, Liam is still early on the ball. He is used to 80 plus mile an hour pitching. Liam with three RBIs and three hits today. There's a hit, back at the pitcher, oh! back at second who's oh! lost it, just wasn't lined up. Off the ground, takes the out on first. My goodness, off the ground for the first out of the game. That does score, uh, Waru. It does score uh, Nico Waru though. So know. New Zealand moving to 14, 21. 14 uh, to Indonesia at the moment. Two, two, two. Indonesian team will happily trade runs for outs. What an effort yeah. from that second baseman. Just laid it out, threw it off the ground. Fantastic play. You love to see it. They do have way more runs to play with than New Zealand have outs to play with. So It was a great block by that catcher. The pitch, it, the pitch that ended up in the dirt. We had Hugo Harvey that was running down the line. Was quite impressed by that block from that catcher. There's another one just outside. TJ showing patience at the plate. TJ wanting to get all of this. Hey, TJ. Wanting, to, wanting to bet these runners in. As he said, Hugo getting the big lead there at third and that is risky. New Zealand can't run into any outs. They need everything to go their way. I'm also ex ball on TJ I'm extremely surprised that the Indonesian team playing their infield in here. The runs don't matter, they need outs. Absolutely. Now TJ batting with a uh, 444 average for the tournament, four at bats today. Only the one hit, there's a strike. 70 miles an hour from the pitcher. Fantastic work. Hey TJ! I believe it's three balls, one strike. Three balls, one strike. Hey, TJ! New Zealand team trying to rally around their runners. Big swing from Mimosa over top of it. Big 71 mile pitch from the pitcher there. It might be a biting cold wind here, but I see TJ's father, Dan Amosa, sticking with the theory. Sun's out, guns out. Sun's out, guns out. Full count here on TJ. And that's up. 
takes the wall with a, with a ball above the zone. Oh, That's exactly the approach you need. Great discipline at the plate for TJ Mosa. Bringing up Messiah. Composer Messiah, so let's go. Runners on base is more important than big hits here for this New Zealand team. Just checking that he's allowed to visit without replacing. Oh, that's true. So he is saying that you get the extra visit with that overtime, which he is right. And then he charges all over it. Extra innings, you do get an extra visit to the mound. Coach Tidy Thompson. Doesn't seem to be too impressed with things, and I can't say I blame him. Well, you know, as coaches, Roy, you, you all know that we have these things called coach killers, and that's just when players just aren't finishing the plays correctly, aren't doing the basics right, and they're just letting runs trickle in. Wouldn't be the first time I've seen a coach take out the frustrations with his own team and take those out on the umpire. Questioning the rules, questioning everything. Here's Messiah with the big hack fouling behind him. First strike. Geez, look at that from Paul Vodanovic. Over four and a half hours back there, and he's still, still lightning quick. Running. Hey, sir. Oh, and a wild pitch here. This is going to bring in Hugo Harvey. Yes, there we go. So 21 15, New Zealand just holding on to hope here. And the big thing there, Samuel, is all of those runners advancing. It just takes the force play out. It, it absolutely does. It removes the opportunity for a double play. Hey, Sire! Messiah just, just waiting in the bat, wanting to connect here. He'll be hoping to add a couple of RBIs to his uh, tally. Swings through that one. Takes a big swing for a second strike. 67 mile an hour fastball up in the zone and Messiah couldn't catch up with it. One ball, two strikes. Oh, Messiah just protecting the zone there. Oh, and we've lost our camera there. <laughs> oh, fully lost it. Hey, uh, Kovic is... Uh, Kovic going up to try and fix it. Oh, he's... I don't know what he's done to it. He's all over the place. We're going to have to stick with this view. Keep, push, keep pushing it forward. Now he's getting it close. Close. Yep. That'll do us. That'll do. <laughs> All right, Messiah still at bat here. Strike, strike three. Looking, Messiah is not happy about that one. Can I help you, Messiah? No thanks. Just looking. Wasn't angry at the call. Just angry at himself, didn't look at the umpire or anything, just dropped his head and said, damn, I should have gone for it. Which brings up Tongaroa King. This is two outs now. Indonesia, one out away. That was a breaking ball. Coming in nice and slow, 59 miles. When you've been pitching at 70, and then you break it in at 59. That is great use of your pitching arsenal right there. Up, up and in. Up and in. Tongaroa King just leaning back on that. A bit of chin music there for Tongaroa. Just saying, hey, come and get it. Two outs. Indonesia away. One out away from a monumental comeback win. Or will New Zealand keep trickling those runs in? 
just on the outside. Possibly need a uh, production crew here just to go and attach that um, battery pack back into the holder. Would have been nice if uh, he could multitask and do two things at once. A little pick oh, off there. Pick off at three, but safe. Is that Scanlon, I think? Yes, it is. Just coming back, being aware. Great situational awareness from Scanlon. And we see a bit of a rattling of the fence here as Mike Kovic just. Oh, and the strike on King. Climbs King up swing, there. But broke the plane. I think he's realising now that it's not as easy as you think. Been the uh, production crew, and he's just moved the camera around and doesn't realise it. <laughs> It'll be good enough for this, and that's a strike. Strike three. And oh, strike two. Tangaroa right King, you. On Tangaroa King. Sorry, missed call from Paul there. This is a full cut. Just need that camera to slightly tilt it to the left. <laughs> Crucial moment. Yeah. And there it is. Right That's three. a strikeout. That's all she wrote. Wow. Indonesia with a monumental comeback after being down early on while well, leading in the first two innings. New Zealand fighting it back. Bring it back and then going forcing us into a tie, a tying, tying break <laughs> inning, an eighth inning, huh? after five hours of play, or four hours yeah. and 58 oh, do minutes of play, absolutely amazing comeback from Indonesia to oh. take the win, Roy. Yeah, an amazing game of baseball, like, this is why we love this sport, Samuel. Thank you, Ron, for your best sport in the world. That is all she wrote. That is all from me today. Of course, a big thank you to all volunteers to make this tournament go ahead. Big thank you to my co-host Roy, who's had to put up with me for five hours, yakking in his ear. And a big thank you to everyone that's tuned in today. It's been an absolute privilege. Roy, everyone else, thank you very much, and good night.